He won the gold medal in the international math competition at the age of three and began to self-study at the age of seven, which is not the most powerful. At the age of eight, he got an excellent score of 760 points in the math part of SAT. 21-year-old Dr. Princeton University, 24-year-old professor of the American School of Political Science, 31-year-old won the Nobel Prize in Mathematics. This is a story of a genius mathematician, Tao Zexuan, who is more intelligent than Einstein. Tao Zexuan, who was born on July 17, 1975, has a pair of very good parents. Both of them graduated from the University of Hong Kong. His father, Tao Xiangguo, later became a doctor. His mother, Liang Huilan, is a master of physics and math. In 1972, the couple emigrated from Hong Kong to Australia. Three years later, the legendary genius Tao Zexuan was born. Maybe he inherited the high IQ of his parents. When Tao Zexuan was one year older, he could read children's sentences, learn English alphabets, and do some simple addition and subtraction calculations when playing with a digital typewriter. This is nothing. The great things are behind. What can a two- or three-year-old child do? Tao Zexuan can use his father's portable typewriter to type out a whole page. He can also use the method of piled wood to teach children who are older than him to learn math. He can also use the simple calculation of washing dishes on the glass. Until then, Tao Zexuan's parents realized that their children may not be ordinary people. The story of some geniuses. The couple guessed that Tao Zexuan might be the next genius, so they sent this three-and-a-half-year-old child to private primary school to study. However, a very embarrassing problem arose. The young Tao Zexuan did not know how to get along with his classmates who were several years older than him. He was always crying. The teaching environment of the primary school also made Tao Zexuan unable to adapt. Because at that time, he was only interested in the knowledge of mathematics, other subjects are difficult to completely follow. A few weeks later, the Tao Xianggu couple, who realized this problem, the child has completed the withdrawal procedure and sent him to kindergarten to study. From then on, they followed and cultivated Tao Zexuan's personality and learning talent. In the first year and a half of kindergarten, Mother Liang Huilan played the role of a teacher and personally guided Tao Zexuan to study. During this period, Tao Zexuan finished almost all primary school math courses. In fact, because of his super development of intelligence and learning ability, what the mother can do is just to guide and stimulate, not to teach. At the age of five, Tao Zexuan officially began his primary school life. What is different from others is that as soon as he entered the school, he sat in the fifth grade classroom as a second year freshman. Two years later, Tao Zexuan, who was not satisfied with the knowledge he had, began to self-study. The principal of the primary school took the initiative to talk to his parents. After the discussion between the two sides, at the age of seven, Tao Zexuan became a student in a nearby middle school. And a year later, he became a real middle school student. At the age of eight, Tao Zexuan, who was addicted to math knowledge, he came to Johns Hopkins University in Baltimore with his family. Here, Tao Zexuan took a test. In the math part of SAT, he scored 760 out of 800 points. How high is this score? It should be known that in the United States, only 1% of high school students at the age of 17 and 18 can reach 750 points. No one can score more than 700 points than an eight-year-old child. After the test, Tao Zexuan's IQ reached 230, far beyond the great scientist Einstein. At the age of nine, Tao Zexuan went to participate in the Australian International Olympic Games. 
Because he was too young at the time, he was not selected in the end. Of course, these restrictions are only temporary for genius Tao Zexuan. At the age of 10, he successfully became a member of the Olympic team. In the next three years, he won the bronze, silver, and gold medals for Australia and became the record holder of the youngest winner of the gold and silver bronze medals. In 1985, the 70-year-old mathematician Paul Eilert came to Australia to teach. This is also a person who was regarded as a genius at the age of 17 and dedicated his whole life to mathematics. In this year, 10-year-old Tao Zexuan met Eilert under the arrangement of the school leader. After a lot of understanding and communication, the master praised Tao Zexuan, also gave him a lot of advice on study and research. At the age of 14, Tao Zexuan officially entered the University of Flinders to study. Although he is young, his goal is very big. At the age of 16, he obtained a bachelor's degree. At the age of 17, he obtained a master's degree. He has a higher pursuit of mathematics. Under the personal recommendation of Eilert, he went to the University of Princeton to study. The winner of the Golden Globe Award is Elias Stein. People are only amazed at the brilliant achievements of geniuses, but in fact, the 10-year-old Tao Zexuan is still immature. Relying on his own talent, Tao Zexuan did not take into account part of the school's courses. But when he sat in the exam room and began to answer the questions, he found that half of the course papers had to take half of the grades. Tao Zexuan has no potential to fail. This also happened when he was studying for a doctorate in Princeton. Faced with such a result, Tao Zexuan chose to escape. He will stay in the computer room and play games all night. And he has a perfect personality in practice. When he plays, he can't stop at all. It is fortunate that Tao Zexuan has a strong interest in mathematics and the correct guidance of the University of Princeton to students. He listened to the advice and adjusted quickly. After that, he went all the way. He got his doctorate at the age of 21. At the age of 24, he was hired as a professor at California University, Los Angeles. After becoming the youngest professor, Tao Zexuan did not stop moving forward. He won the MacArthur Foundation Genius Award, the Fields Award, and the Wattman Award at the National Science Foundation of the United States. After winning the Math Breakthrough Award for the last time, Tao Zexuan donated $3 million to the foundation. It is used to cultivate the education of the new generation of young talents. On September 17, 2015, Tao Zexuan solved the difference problem of Erdos. Tao Zexuan is the most enviable person. Not only is he talented in mathematics, but he is also an ordinary person who has a simple and happy life. He likes to play with his wife and children. Do you believe that Tao Zexuan can achieve greater breakthroughs in the field of mathematics? What do you think of this mathematician with an IQ of more than Einstein? Please leave a comment in the comment section. If you like my video, please follow me, like it, and forward it. Every encouragement from you will motivate me to make better videos.